Yo, what's up, everybody? Today we have another unboxing of some plants that I'm excited about. And I already kind of opened this up a little bit, so let me take this out. So this is Spanish moss. I'm really excited about this. I'm actually, I brought this in from Florida. My last visit from Florida, I actually tried to package this up and put it in my luggage and kind of looked like drugs. <laughs> so I took it out and I had my mom um, sent that to me in the mail. So thanks, Mom Dukes. So it kind of looks like seaweed or something, but it's funny. I've, I've watched a lot of videos on these and read a lot about them. So they kind of look, they're green right now, but like when they're kind of dried out, when you see them in the, you know, hanging from, you know, oak trees and stuff like that, they're kind of gray and stuff like that. So it's kind of one of the nicknames that it has is, is grandpa's beard. That's so Spanish moss or grandpa's beard. It's because it's kind of got that like gray, silvery color normally when it's, when it's dried out. Um, but what really made me want to get this, I've just been obsessed with it. Every time I go to Florida or somewhere down south, I see it all over the trees, the big oak trees and other other uh, you know trees, like palm trees and stuff. You'll see this hanging from But For whatever reason, the oak trees, you see them hanging out of them a lot. Um, just looks really cool, real tropical. Um, got that southern look that I really like. So I, I started researching it, and I actually found out that because one thing was I was kind of nervous about it. I didn't want to bring this home because I always see it in a, a, a quote-unquote host plant. So I'm thinking they're they're maybe sucking the nutrients from the host plant, kind of killing it. So I found out that it's it's actually it's not moss. It's 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 an air plant, and it's not does not require a, a host plant or host tree. It's not taking anything from another tree, and it's actually part of the bromeliad family, which I thought was very interesting. Um, and the more I looked at it, you know, I, I looked and I, I found the, found out the most northernmost range of these, of this Spanish moss. And while I'm talking, I'm going to open this up so you guys know I'm not smuggling drugs. It's, it is Spanish moss. <laughs> so it looks like it's still okay. Um, and it's, it's a little, I guess it's a little moist because I dunked it before I sent it out so it wouldn't get dried out. But hopefully it's not rotted out we, we sent it in snail mail so but anyway so that the northernmost it's native to the the south southern united states uh, but it, it its natural range is is all the way up to parts of virginia and the particular spots in virginia that i found where it's it's native and it survives naturally i, I want to say that i saw that was zone 7b so i thought that was very extraordinary and immediately I'm like, you know, if you if you follow my Instagram, follow my my YouTube channel, if you're new, uh, you know we like the zone push, and we put, you know, we have banana trees, palm trees, yuccas, all that good stuff, and we have them outside all year round. So if if this is native to zone seven parts of zone seven B, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try to see if I can get this to grow here all year round. Um, my strategy is to, you know, put take some in during the winter time in the basement. Um, I have my greenhouses where my palm trees are that are unheated. I'm going to try to put them in there and, and then also leave some outside. So I'm going to try different things in the off season, but I'm really pumped to, to kind of get this started. A couple of things I've read, if you're not familiar with the, the, um, the Spanish mosses, they don't like to be, well, number one, I'm already making the, one of the mistakes. They don't like to, if, you, if you're going to kind of relocate this, they don't like to be bunched up like this. So let's say you see there's a piece. Let's see if I can take some of this apart. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. It's falling on the ground. Oh boy. Oh boy. So anyway, so let's say this is how it's hanging. It's it's all good. It's hanging naturally. You don't want to just throw it all in a in a bag like this. You want to kind of put a clip or some kind of something that like you know either zip tie or some kind of clip wherever you're hanging it from. If you're gonna to try to spread it, keep it hang the way you see it. Don't just kind of throw it upside down because believe it or not, even though it looks like it's all kind of random, it's not going to like that. So if let's say it's it's hanging naturally like this and then you go to relocate some and you take it from the bottom bottom up, it's going to be unhappy. And I don't know that it's going to die, but it, I don't think you're going to get that immediate growth um, that you want. So that's one thing that I've read. I've also you know heard that they don't like 
metal touching them that actually kills them. I don't know if it's certain metals. I don't know if that's true or not. But from my experience, I don't know because this is my first time dealing with it. I'll let you know. But uh, yeah, that's one thing I read. So I'm, I'm not I'm not going to purposely put this stuff on, on metal. So that's one thing I've, I've heard. Again, I don't know what type of metal or if it's even true. But that's just one thing uh, to point out. And another thing too is birds like to get at this stuff for their nest. I mean, as you can see, a lot of, you know, that I can see, definitely see a bird doing that. So when I put this outside in the spring, um, I'm definitely going to try to, I don't know that I'm going to put wire around it because I don't want it looking like crap, but, you know, I'm going to try to secure some of it and hope that the birds don't take all of it. <laughs> so that's another thing that the birds love this stuff. So, all right, well, that's pretty much it. I'm really excited. And as we get closer to the spring, uh, you know, I'll, I'll make more videos and, and how it's doing since I've, I t I've taken it out of um, the, the mail. And again, it, <clears throat> it is early February. So that's, this was in snail mail in February, freezing cold weather. So if snail mail, if it's sitting there in like the warehouses in the trucks at below freezing temperature, because it's been cold around here in, in PA, um, I think it's going to be fine. So we'll see. I don't know. So more to come, but I just wanted to show that. Very excited. Spanish moss, baby, in the Northeast. Let's go.